Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Shiraz and if you remember a few days ago I had asked you to you know uh, shoot your questions for this baby the new uh, Visor F R15 uh, this is the version 3.0 now uh, we had already uh, tested the bike on track in March and the first ride review is already up and now uh, for the past few days I have been riding this motorcycle uh, and uh, to give you the road test review and which would actually you know uh, be published say uh, somewhere in the next uh, 10 to 15 days so I thought that you know why not take at least one question per reader okay for those readers who had uh, you know commented on that post so let's get on with it okay so uh, first off uh, you know there's a reader by the name uh, Rupam Hedau guys uh, again excuse me if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly okay uh, I'm, I'm trying my level best to pronounce your name as uh, you know uh, close to its original pronunciation as I can so uh, Rupam Hedau uh, you know has a very elaborate question that includes uh, service intervals maintenance and spares uh, headlamp uh, demonstration top speed acceleration ride quality ergos engine heat and fuel efficiency okay uh, so Rupam uh, you know as far as service intervals are concerned I think they remain the same okay because if uh, had there been a change Yamaha would have notified us about it okay uh, maintenance and spares uh, so I am an owner of uh, you know uh, a V2 Yamaha R15 uh, version 2 and uh, which is again uh, you know one of the easiest bikes to uh, run and maintain in its segment of course so I uh, you know don't think that this would be any different however only a long term test uh, you know would actually reveal uh, the cost of spares and maintenance all right uh, again having said that I really don't think so this would be any different uh, than the V2 which is again like I said is one of the easiest uh, one of the cheapest bikes I would use that word uh, to uh, main, run and maintain in its segment okay uh, headlamp uh, LED headlamps demonstration so okay so I said that one question per reader uh, but then since there are uh, you know many overlapping questions and I'll of course uh, mention the names as well uh, so le let me just you know go through this list first so LED headlamps demonstration uh, I would definitely include it in my text review okay and I would have pictures uh, and or uh, videos of uh, you know uh, depicting how good or bad the LED headlamps are as compared to the V2 because I have that uh, top speed acceleration ride quality of course everything would be include ergos definitely uh, fuel efficiency uh, I'll talk about it engine heat I will answer this as well right now in fact Rupam I'm glad you asked that uh, so uh, Rupam uh, asked about engine heat and there is one more gentleman who asked about it that's uh, okay okay Dinesh uh, Milsami okay uh, Dinesh uh, so uh, Rupam and Dinesh uh, I've been riding it for the past few days in this terrible Delhi heat okay this is the worst summers that we are experiencing right now okay uh, temperature is hovering around uh, today uh, you know the phone that I'm recording uh, this from uh, told me that uh, so when I reached this spot it was 45 degrees Celsius okay so in this heat and uh, this this uh, bike's engine runs a higher compression ratio as compared to the V2 despite that okay the heat management as compared to the V2 V2 was also uh, you know very good okay uh, of course especially if you compare it to the Dukes the, the KTM's this has left me speechless this has left me astounded as far as the heat management is concerned because this is amazing okay I'm falling short of adjectives here let me just tell you that nothing in this segment comes close nothing uh, uh, you know in, in a couple of uh, segments above comes uh, you know close as far as heat management is concerned okay I'm glad that you asked that and so uh, and yes I'm, I'm, I'm taking into account uh, you know the speed runs the uh, bad uh, you know bad traffic traffic jams and there was uh, of course in, in the acceleration runs in uh, the top speed runs okay 
I, I was uh, constantly, you know, I had the uh, throttle pinned and there was just, uh, and I did those, ex you know, runs repeatedly. There was no drop in performance. And the bike is new. The bike is fairly new. Okay. The tolerances uh, are tight right now. Okay. So uh, let me, let me take the high, no, uh, I would not take the high speed question right now. Uh, allow me to make you wait for, uh, you know, the answer uh, in the text review. Uh, of course, I'll, I'll have that, uh, I'll have the usual raw video clip as well. So yes, heat management is answered. Uh, fuel efficiency, I'll answer that as well. Okay. So uh, fuel efficiency was asked by Abhishek Kale, Fazan Court. Fazan Court actually asked Kitna Deti hai. So I'll, uh, you know, uh, of course answer that. Dinesh Milsami, Gautam Saharan, Rupam. Okay. And uh, forgive me guys if I'm missing a couple of names, but I think I've covered all the names who asked about fuel efficiency. Uh, I haven't calculated fuel efficiency as yet. However, uh, okay, the instrument console, uh, it tells me, in fact, it has been constantly giving me a figure of 40 plus. Okay, 40, 41, 42, 40. It also showed me 43.6 at one point in time. Uh, uh, but then, uh, you know, I'll be able to give you the exact figure, of course, once I calculate it. I would not be trusting this. Still, uh, you know, considering how much fuel I've put in, okay, and the kilometers I've run, I think you know uh, the city fuel efficiency uh, fuel efficiency in city okay because i just uh, you know did not get the time to take it uh, you know on long uh, longish highways okay i did of course uh, check the top uh, top speed runs on the highway but then again i had the throttle pin so high speed testing uh, and of course city riding i think uh, the fuel efficiency would be somewhere around you know, somewhere between uh, 36, 37 would be the worst figure I'm expecting and 40 would be the best figure that I'm expecting in city riding. Highways, I think, you know, uh, this bike should be able to stretch a liter uh, to uh, 44, 45 kilometers to a liter, okay, which is phenomenal, okay, uh, for the kind of performance it offers. Uh, which of course the acceleration runs and the top speed you will get to know in the comprehensive review uh, so heat management is done fuel efficiency is done all right and uh, uh, jagat janaki prusti uh, asks is it comfortable in daily usage or is it only a track oriented bike so uh, jagat i'm sure you know you would agree with me that when we talk about sports forget bikes when you talk about sports okay uh, apart from, I guess, chess or perhaps golf, okay, uh, all of the sports, uh, you know, uh, they are not comfortable sports, right? Uh, you can't take a stroll and play a sport, okay? Uh, so, yes, every sport demands, uh, you know, commitment and so does, uh, you know, a sport bike. So, cruises are comfortable bikes, okay? sport bikes aren't comfortable okay they're meant for a purpose i'm sure you understand that that is why you know you've asked uh, you know whether it's a track oriented bike uh, so yes it's definitely a track oriented motorcycle which is also a blast to ride uh, you know in the city and on the highways uh, so uh, you know for a v2 owner like me you know it is as good as a v2 in fact i would say that it's half a notch more committed half a notch more extreme so depending upon your taste, it is as good or as bad as the V2. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, Sanket Kamli asks, uh, pillion seat for girlfriend or wife? Girlfriend. Okay. Uh, however, if you have a wife, do not be disheartened. Uh, you know, if you really want to buy the version 3, because as compared to, you know, uh, the V2's pillion seat, this one's pillion seat would, uh, I, I reckon, you know, should uh, make your marriage last, uh, you know, a little longer than could have been possible on the V2. Uh, so, yes, I hope that answers your question. And Nayan Jyoti asks headlight illumination at night. So, Nayan Jyoti is asking about headlight illumination. Okay. Uh, okay. Nayan, uh, forgive me for that. I just couldn't uh, resist. And Deep also had asked about it and like I said uh, that you know Rupam had asked about it and I'll be you know uh, uh, again uh, including the pictures and or 
and slash or the video uh, you know of uh, that that would actually tell you you know how good or bad the headlamps are as compared to again the V2 okay so this one this one gets in uh, you know all LED setup uh, so yes you will have to wait for the review uh, of course you know if I switch it on you would not get, get an idea and uh, Akhil Mani asked uh, what has changed uh, you know uh, as compared to the V2 Akhil please uh, you know I request you to uh, read the my read my first try review I have list I, I, I've listed all the changes okay down to the number of holes in the injector okay so please read the review uh, the first try review it would actually tell you everything that uh, has changed in the V3 as compared to the V2 and uh, your second question should a V2 owner like you okay uh, upgrade to a V3 see uh, Akhil uh, you know uh, an upgrade would be uh, you know buying a motorcycle from a segment above so when you're buying uh, you know the same bike although if it is you know much improved it is not really an upgrade uh, okay and it stands true for every every motorcycle all right uh, be, be it an r1 be it you know a daytona be it uh, you know a panigale uh, every uh, you know so if you're selling off panigale and buying a you know uh, a newer model okay an improved model that's not an upgrade really okay uh, it, it reiterates the fact that you like the bike so much okay that you just want to have the improved version and why not yes so uh, if you if you really have to have an R15 okay yes um, uh, buying the best R15 certainly makes sense okay and this definitely like I said my like I said in my uh, first ride review this indeed is the best R15 till date uh, and so so Mandar Vijay Vagdare asks, as compared to V1, how comfortable in city and long rides? Uh, Mandar, no comparison really. Okay, the V1 is definitely, of course, it's out of production, but you can buy the R15S, which is styled like the V1. And uh, so yes, uh, buy that if, uh, you know, comfort is your topmost priority and you have to have uh, an R15. So buy that motorcycle. However, uh, if you can overlook, you know, uh, the comfort, this uh, you know is unmatched uh, as far as uh, handling is concerned as far as stability is concerned by both uh, the v1 and the v2 okay the stability the handling okay everywhere those bikes were the benchmarks when uh, you know uh, they had made their debut uh, this motorcycle betters them so of course this is the new benchmark and uh, yep but then again if comfort is your topmost priority buy the r15s or a used uh, v1 all right so uh, uh, okay L lom uh, lungfi uh, asks can we opt for a usd fork version in india no uh, lom unfortunately you can't there's no there's, there's nothing unfortunate about it okay ride this motorcycle and i can assure you that you would not be missing a usd fork uh, uh, Nilesh asks, vibrations start at what RPM? Riding in city tougher than RC or not? Brakes and bad road conditions. Uh, Nilesh, I've talked about brakes in my first ride review. Please uh, read read that. Okay. Uh, bad road conditions. Suspension. I'll be talking about in uh, you know the my my comprehensive uh, review. Riding in city tougher than RC. This I can answer. Uh, it is a much easier bike to ride in the city than the RC. Okay, I found you know the turning circle much better than uh, the KTM's. All right, of course the RCs. Okay, if you'll see, okay, there's generous amount of steering lock available, so makes it makes it uh, you know a very and of course you know it feels very light. All right, and uh, definitely an easier bike to ride in the city than the RC and uh, vibrations I'll, I'll be talking about that uh, you know in uh, the text review all right and rajesh uh, uh, Raj, raja sekar mamalan asked about brakes uh, raja sekar please read the first ride review okay you will you will get your answer and there are a lot of ants okay and 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 all right that's about it uh, okay janardan prakash asks do they offer uh, a race kit in india 
yes janardan yamaha does uh, you know offer the race kit however legally you're only supposed to use that on a race track okay and so i'll take the names again okay just to okay at uh, the last one prashant kanti ask is it worth investing 1.5 lakh rupees uh i i would say that you know if i have 1.5 lakh rupees and i like sport bikes okay this is the motorcycle that i'll buy so the precise answer to your question is uh, is it worth investing 1.5 lakh rupees uh, if it's in your city 1.5 lakh rupees in delhi it is 1.42 lakhs absolutely it is it's it's more than worth it uh, prashant uh, it's more than worth it okay you'll you'll uh, get to know uh, more reasons Uh, in the comprehensive test uh, road test review okay so i'll i'll just uh, sign off uh, but before i do that i'll take the names uh, again so okay i missed one yogendra mahajan wanted to know the acceleration times yogendra you, you know you you'll know soon so akhil mani janardan prakash yogendra rupam uh, dinesh abhishek faizan uh, gautam uh, nayan deep संकेत जगत मंदार प्रशांत नीलेष लॉम गाइस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर यू नो शूटिंग यू क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट सेट सम ऑफ देम एंड द रेस्ट आई कैन श्योर यू विल बी आंसर्ड एट लेंथ इन माई कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव रिव्यू एंड सो आई डिट अ सिमिलर वीडियो फॉर द आर आर थ्री टेन एंड इट वॉज लाइक बाय दोज रीडर्स वेड आस्क द क्वेश्चन एंड अ फ्यू अदर्स इज वेल i i hope uh, you know you like this too and uh, yeah feel free to share feedback in the comment section you can uh, you know connect with me on twitter facebook you know i live in delhi give me a shout if you are here and uh, preferably over the weekends and uh, yeah we'll ride together so uh, thank you so much uh, guys and uh, ride safe